let's talk about how to solve recurrence. So uh, we we learn one technique. Uh, that's the that's the uh, recursion tree method. So let's try to use that technique to uh, to solve this one. Okay. So um, this, uh, so in this problem we have uh, the the topmost one has uh, in input size of size n, and then you divide it into just one sub problem of size n over two. It's going to look like that, and then. Uh, from that you have another n over four. You keep doing that, okay? And in the end you you get to one, right? So uh, let's think about the running time. So we're gonna count this n to the running time at each level. So so it's at this level it takes you n. This takes n over two. It takes you n over four. Finally it takes you n. And now uh, you wanna sum them all, okay? So how many levels do we have? So we divide n by 2 every time, so it's going to be log n levels. But but with this recurrence, you don't really need to count the level. But anyway, so uh, the if you sum them all, you, you're going to have this sum n plus n over 2 plus n over 4 plus blah, blah, blah up to n. And this is how big is this? So let's factor n out. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over n, right? Now this term is at most a constant. So we will we, we, we'll, we'll look at that later, but this is like at most, at most 2. So this is 2n. So this is O of n. All right. So, so we, we've seen this this sort of sum many times so let's look at it okay so so this this sum uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus blah 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 and so on and they are these are the same kind of sum right These are the same kind of sum. It, it is called geometric sum, I think, geometric uh, theory. Okay, so uh, the sum is of the form uh, a to the zero plus a to the one plus a and so on, and so on, and so on. So, so this, this, this that there's a formula for that. Suppose you have n terms. So there's a formula for that. So this is, uh, you know that? So the a to n plus 1 minus 1 over a minus 1. So that's, that's the formula, OK? And if you apply, apply it to uh, plug into this, and this is the, the infinite sum. So, uh, so a to the n will be uh, something really small, right? Uh, so if a is less than one, okay. So this this sum will be uh, a to the zero plus a to the one plus a to the two plus and so on. So this will be at most uh, a to the infinity, which is zero, right? Minus one over a minus one. So this is one over one minus a. So this this is gonna be equals to one over one minus one over two, that's two, and this is gonna be one minus two thirds. So this is gonna be three. Okay, so that's that's the geometric sum, geometric theory, geo, geometric, metric series. Okay. So we we'll see that really often, okay? And with this, it gives us to uh, when when we uh, analyze the running time, we usually usually run run into another kind of sum, okay? It looks like this. Looks like uh, it's 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 like this, but but the the factor is is larger than one, so it looks like. Uh, one 
plus three halves. No, this is two plus three halves square plus q plus. But if this is going to be uh, an infinite sum, then it's going to go to infinities, right? Because this cre keep increasing. However, it's n at some point, say uh, to the k. Okay. So what what is this sum? Okay. We can uh, figure this out by first factoring out this this part. Okay. So this is going to be that. Okay. And then. The rest will we, we go backward basically. So this part will be two third to the k plus the next one will be two third to the k minus one and so on. And and, and at the end you have one. Okay. So this is at most plus one plus two square plus make it an infinite series. So this again goes to some constants, which is equal to three, right? So this is O of to the k, all right? So if you have the sum that um, go down, uh, goes down, this is going to be geometric series, so it end up being a constant like that. But if you have the one that goes up, okay, the last term. By factoring out the last term, you get this uh, geometric series again, and so the last term dominates. So this term dominates the whole sum. Okay, so this is some some math that some calculation that you need to uh, do quite a few times and uh, a few times, and then you get it. Okay, all right. Um, so let's try with one more example. Okay. So suppose you have a divine conquer that starting with n and you divide it into three pieces. Okay? But then you recursively and then it turns out that you need to do that each of sides uh to uh, one third one 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 four, one third. But then you need to do that for maybe three of that okay let's do that okay and then um, the time you need to do the div divide and the conquer would takes takes you a, a linear time so suppose you have tn equals so if you write the, the recurrent the currents you're gonna get something like this plus n okay so what's the running time of this okay suppose we know that T1 is maybe some constant. Okay? So what's the running time of this? So we can do the recursion tree method. So n over 9 and 4 of that. Okay? And then the next level would be n over uh, 27 and 4 of that. Right. So let's 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 sum the 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 time you spend on each level. So th in the first level you spend n, and the next level there are four four sub problems. Each of that you spend n over three, so four n over three, and the next one you spend each sub problem problem you spend n over nine, but there are how many? Uh, 16 of them so it's going to be n over 9 so you can guess the pattern right so it's n over 3 square n okay and the next level you're going to spend uh, n over 27 and there are uh, how many of them so there are in oh uh, 64 times n over 27 that's n to the 3 cube and so on so um, how many levels do we have this time okay so the number of level is how many 
So you divide n by 3 every time, so it's going to be log base 3 of n. So in the end, you end up with something like uh, okay, so uh, we have log base 3 n levels. Okay, so this would go on until we get to times n. Okay, so let's do the sum. Let's calculate the sum. So it's got to be. So let me remove this. All right. It's going to be uh, n. What? Oh, it's got to be n. Oh, sorry. No. Okay. It's going to be n. Come on. Oh. Okay. It's going to be n plus 4n plus n square plus up to uh, 3 or 4 log base 3 of n times n. Right. And if you look at this, uh, the last term would dominate, right? Because this is a uh, another geometric uh, sum but uh, it goes up right so the last term will dominate so let's let's do use that fact so it's going to be uh, so it's going to be O of log this 3 of n times n right but what is this so uh, let's try to work on it a little bit so it's going to be O of let, let's keep the O so it's going to be n is 4 to the log base 3 of n, 3 to the log base 3 of n times n. But this, this is n, right? So it cancel out with that. And let's do the same trick. If you do the same trick, you're going to get that this is going to be equal to, um, so 4, 4 is log base, uh, what, what, do you, what do you get? What do you get? So 4 is 2 to the log base 2 of 4, right? So you switch the sum, so you're going to get something back to something like n to the log base 3 of 4. Okay, so that's, that's what you get. All right. Um, so let's do some, a little bit more practice. Now, um, if you look carefully, uh, so let's try to uh, before we we do something. So let's try to do it again with n square at that part. Okay. So if that's n square, so what should it be, right? So th that's if that's n square, you you're gonna have the same recursion tree, right? So you have four of n over three. And then you have four of that. So mostly everything would remain the same except so this is n square. So this is going to be n over three square, right? Per each per uh, each sub problems. And at this level, the running time. So this is n to the to the nine. So this is going to be n to the nine square like that All right so if you sum up the running time for every levels you're gonna get something like so let me use blue so the first level will be will be just this the next level you're gonna have uh, how many guys do you have so there are four of that right and each take n square no n over three square so it's gonna be four over nine in square right and here um, there are 16 n to the 9 square so it's gonna be uh, what do we have so it's in so 16 okay so it's gonna be 16 over 
9 square, so it's 81 n square. Okay. Now, if you look carefully, this is n over 9, so but this is uh, n over 9 square n square. Okay. So the next level, uh, in the next level, oh, let me use black. Each sub problem is going to be of size n over 27. And the running time per each sub problem will be n over 27 square. And if you sum them all up, there, there are going to be uh, how many? 64 n over 27 square. And this is n over 9 cube in square. Now, uh, let's let me uh, highlight so this is the, the running time on the first level this is the second level the third the third level the fourth level and you can see that this is nine uh, four over nine four over nine square four over nine cube so if you sum them all up in this case tn would be what do we have so if you factor out n square it's going to be one plus uh what is that so four over nine four over nine square plus four over nine cube and so on and if we make this an infinite sum we know that this is uh this is a right a is less than one so this is just a constant so this is all in square okay So let's so so what's changed is 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 the fact that we we change from just linear to n square. If we have linear, then the running time will will will, will go up, right? It goes up. Uh, it's going to be n to the uh, log uh, base three or four. And um, if the running time is n square, in for each each sub problem, then we 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 come back and get the n square, right? So, so, so this this shows the interplay uh, between the total running time and the running time of this part. Okay, when we look at the master theorem, we we'll see uh, that there are roughly three cases. So we we will see more example, and, and and then when we look at the master theorem, we we'll see uh, how it turns out for each of the possible cases. All right, so that's that's it for for now. Um, okay, thank you.